Hello everybody and welcome to more time. We are planning ahead with the new Vampire Thrall that I already was talking about the last time. The planning, as said, charging, running, charging, running. Um, Pavela, she will wield a two-handed sword for the time being. I know with the charging that means only one attack possible, but we need to disengage afterwards anyhow and that's fine like that, at least I hope. <clears throat> While she's away, our Stella will take a little break as well as Piotr, who is currently still injured. We will take Vasil though along with us for the coming round. Um, I know I've been talking about doing this one, but we'll wait for Piotr to be completely healthy again. Um, therefore let's find something that is maybe on a brutal to deadly level again. Uh, nothing, really? Well, then it's going to be a hard one. That's also fine, because it is the first trial of our new units. Also, um, Michael and Stanislav will be around. That is fine. We go like that. Just as you were closing to engage a rival warband, the horrific manifestation of the ghostly town crier causes both groups of warriors to flee in terror. As the apparition fades away, your warriors recover their courage. Scattered in their fright, your warband is spread out across the ruins, but so too are your enemies. So it looks like we are going to face some Skavens, which we need to kill. It's mainly though Askel, Mankiller and Kelkel Fastblade. And everybody scattered around, so we are not choosing... Oh, that's loud. So we are not choosing for the deployment ourselves. We have vision on leader and hero right away. Not sure if I'm happy with that since they're moving rather early. We can easily jump on one of our units. And of course it's going to be our necromancer. Well, it's Eskin Mankiller. We will fix that name and the man will kill him. Unfortunately, that's a lot of damage already in the beginning. If other units as well decide to jump on the necromancer, he's dead before we can do anything. And we have one, two, three close by, a fourth one over there, but he's inside the narrow corridor. So we should be able to cover him up. Over there is our second target, another hero unit. So both hero units need to drop dead, or both of three. Two of three, therefore. And um, yeah, well, Vasil is not having a good stand there. And unfortunately, there's nothing I could have done about that for now. Nothing. I couldn't even get to move a unit. That's really dangerous against Skaven. Being out of position, getting ambushed basically by their high initiative units. <sighs> Sorry, Vasil, we tried. Well, maybe he's fine. You never know. So there for now, we'll take revenge though. There's the hero, you know, it's a ranged one for now. We probably will switch around the weapons right now. And I would have liked to get a little bit of debuff on him, which we have. Switching around weapons will cost him some OP, so Philip will be fine at the end. Except of course he's dual wielding now extremely high level weapons which are killing us instantly with two crits. But that's not the case. Even though he was pretty close to a crit there. This start, you know, it's it's already frustrating again. Uh, we will have our ghoul there charge in on the leader as well. While the other units of ours that are actually able to reach the heroes will try to do so well. Unfortunately, we are going the wrong direction. Um, we have one guy over here. I don't want to engage him though. I really want to focus on the heroes. Oh, they are inside there. We should be able to get that. Well, 
Well, one moved a little bit away. I think we should get a charge out though. I hope that nobody, well, this guy still will be able to get to us. Yeah, <laughs> Basil, that would have been your turn. We don't need to charge, like that we have two attacks. Enemies on all allowed testing. I hope that the fear and terror test of our units, of our vampire and vampire thrall are having quite an impact here. Stanislav, you are hopefully close enough as well. Haha, <laughs> he's, he's not. At least not for that fight, then we'll try to get him in against the other one there. Oh, actually, he engaged Piotr. Uh, not Piotr. The other drag powers. At least he tried to. Didn't get quite close enough though. That's good, because this guy is supposed to be a ranged unit, so he has to move away, gets a little bit of distance, if he's not getting attacked by anyone else right now. Okay, he tries to climb. Doesn't manage to do so. That's perfectly fine, stay right there. The Globadier, Poison Globe, that... I think we're immune to poison, so... No, we are not. At least Mikhail is not. Um, well... These vermin... They're just running around too fast. All over the place. Okay. Pavla! Let's try to even out our chances. Um, I need to get completely around though. And should be able by running through here. Thanks to her light armor and everything, she can run around pretty good. Oh, well, we need to keep in mind, she's still level 0. And we cannot disengage because we need 3 movement points for that. Through skills we can and will reduce that though. Also failing the fear test, well now we can't disengage anymore. But yeah, his hit chance is greatly reduced. Anton, his name was Anton. Actually we are engaged, I didn't see that engagement happening. Well, that's okay, then we'll stay here and fight. Currently still better at dodging. Might want to switch there for his weapons to two one-handed weapons. Take a little bit of falling damage. He's also in this area here. Yeah. But there goes the all alone testing for the hero units. Miral, why are you not immune to poison? Okay, doesn't matter. Where? Well, we could get into that fight, but normally I would have liked him to charge as head into the leader. <laughs> um, who is there? Uh, can we get around? <coughs> no, we cannot get around like that. Well, then our leader will join there as well. We'll get a charge out on this guy. That's unfortunate. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, there he comes. Currently, I'm not happy with the situation. Everything is too piled up and we don't have any kind of advantage over the enemies. 
especially after losing one of our units. Engage the leader, please. That's again unfortunate. Yeah. But regardless, he still has to do all alone testing now. Yeah. And he's taking good damage. Yeah. I hope for the next attack point soon to come for Vicky Liu. So we can get into a uh, large weapon again. A new round has started. Fear test, that's not good that he's passing that one. Yeah, Pavla as well as Michal don't have the biggest defense chance or the best defense at all. Oh, that's good. Nothing happening there for here. Okay, okay. Anton is not going to survive that. Three crit in one round. That's painful. Gently put that. Just, that's very painful. <clears throat> and now he's probably even getting engaged from behind. Oh no, this guy is just running somewhere. A yeah, shuriken in his hands. <laughs> and there we go. The fourth crit. Sorry, but Anton. That doesn't look good. Four crits, four open wounds might be his death. We are missing and he's dodging. It's just a hard mission. We need to get some enemies out of the game, they are otherwise just overwhelming us terribly. Luckily we are, with most of our units, if not even all, immune to all alone. So that should work some kind in our benefit. Joseph hopefully takes care of that one here and put a gauge in the fight to the left. While our leader afterwards is going to spread terror among the Skaven on the other side. Leave that stuff behind, I don't care about it. Get in there. Still, main goal is going to be the side objective. Now even more important for me, since it's two hero units that are dropping that, and I really need to, I want the experience point, points for those that are actually going to survive at the end. Asken is already pretty low. Ah, a little bit left. Now a whole bunch of Skaven are going to run around again. This one is perfect. Let's deal a little bit of damage and let him get away. With that I think that also Philip will move over to the other fight. I don't I really don't care about Gisnut. Passing the fear test. Yeah, therefore he has very good hit chance. Luckily he's still missing one of these. <clears throat> Poison Globe. Oh, he's actually injuring his own unit with it as well. And uh, yeah, Bichal was resisting. If this guy would have decided to start yeah, healing his units, that would have become really, really bad for us. Unfortunately, we are still standing in the dot, so... If we disengage, we can't charge again, so let's just risk dying here. Uh, no, actually we are hitting and then we are disengaging, can't we? No, we can't. 
Unfortunate. Yes, so often. What's he doing? He can really cause some damage on us now. He's getting into the uh, dot. I didn't expect that. But yeah, it's an AI. Hmm. We kill you, he's going to hopefully get through there. Let's see. I think <clears throat> I think that there was a point on the left where we can pass through. And we should be able to get at least a charge out. Even though I would have liked it to go against the hero unit to knock him out. But it does not seem like there's a way around us, uh, around for us. And he's even passing the terror testing. Yeah. It's Skaven, for God's sake. They should be scared of everything that looks undead. A new round has started. Oh, it's passing the fear test. That's not good. Pavla might actually go down here already. Well, that's a lucky one. If we get this guy dead, the other ones are, I think, in the position of doing all alone testing. <laughs> Stanislav will withstand the damage here. I'm almost certain about that. Uh. Kerkel is quite a guy with crits. It's, I think, number four. He first murdered An Anton, and then now he continues on this side. There's no fast way to get into these fights. Okay, we still have the chance now of knocking the first hero unit out. Well, the chance is still there. Finally. Finally. We're taking someone out. Now the big question is, um, joining here or joining there? I think it's about here, about um, supporting Stanislav more. Get into that fight. Yeah, Michal. You need to do something for your defense now. Um, I might actually disengage him if he survives the poison, which I doubt. Okay. And Joseph, well, he basically has no chance of ever reaching the fight. But he most likely will get engaged by the other scape that was running away. Stanislav, yeah, please get up. We can't afford anyone else to get knocked out. <coughs> we are already actually pretty close to routing. That hasn't happened to me before like that. Not with this warp act, let's say, that way. I could go for two attacks on Skleet Far. I'm not sure if I want to do that though. So we need still this guy inside there. Dead. But that I don't care about because it missed. I saw already the stun coming in. So let's hope that is going to work out that we knock him out and get the item of his. <clears throat> also, we didn't collect the one of Eskin, I should keep that in mind.
Got a ton of stuff. Only one dot. He's still alive. He can't disengage though. If we manage to kill Geshkwal with our leader, then we have here Lontes. Still, the poison will kill him. Lucky number one. Let's see how much it costs us. Oh, well, lucky number two. <coughs> So kill that guy, and we will be able to do so. <laughs> then, before I forget it again, he will walk around and take the um, token. Or was it that one? <laughs> no, that is actually our poor necromancers. <clears throat> Um, Objective complete. Warp trinkets. Objective um, updated. We can't get in that fight. Um, let's quickly check how fast did he move. Rather early. That's unfortunate. That one, quite at the end. <clears throat> so I get in here, hoping for exactly that to happen, and hoping that we manage to kill the other A hero units, would that started. cause the exactly character who needs to die? Oh, that, not good. Pala needs to survive. We had routing test, I think. Uh, 12, we had 15 ahead, so no, we are not quite yet there. But as soon as our Michal is dropping dead, and he will drop dead by the poison, we are on routing level. Enemies almost as well though. That's why I really desperately want to kill Kelkel. -Kel. Uh, I don't care about the poison, I need to get through there. Charge in, kill him. Ah, oh, we can't kill him with that attack. Um, if I move in there again, will I take damage again? No. What I need to find out is a way of... ...getting... ...into the fight against Kelkel. Having afterwards... Well, I will have to delay and let Joseph do his attacks first, I think. No, actually, no, get in there. Do the damage and delay afterwards. <laughs> Stanislav it is, not Joseph. Has to kill him. And then we have to be moving before another Skaven does. <clears throat> to collect the token. Failing the throw, that's good. 24 damage I'm fine with as well. Just no stun. And we need to hope that... Not Joseph, I need the other zombie to take the killing blow next round. <coughs> you get in here. There's nothing else that you can do actually. Okay, Stanislav, it all lays in your hands. Kel, Kel dead. Perfect. Now, doesn't really matter. Uh, well, it kind of matters if they pass the all alone testing. It still matters a lot, actually. We might still lose the whole thing. But, we can now collect the token of Kel, Kel. Take the words as well. Complete. We have the side objective by that completed. 
that's, I think, already pretty surprising that that managed to work out. Then we are going to move into that fight. And now, they fail. <laughs> very lucky with at the end. It was a very, very close fight. Being jumped in the beginning by Skaven without any kind of possibility of doing anything. Getting one guy killed, the other one killed in the second round with three crit attacks and a little bit of extra damage by someone else. Very painful, especially since it was not zombies that are expendable. It was very important units at the end. But let's hope they are fine with Anton. I think his name was. I'm not very, very convinced. Your performance has validated the trust Count Vlad has placed in you. Demonstrate your loyalty and enjoy the favor of the Von Karsteins. Yeah, what did he have now? Four open wounds? That's a lot. That's a lot of injury, bro. I'm almost certain there's a permanent injury. There's basically no way around it, I think. If not that. He's on a very low level, so it doesn't matter that much. But I would like to have him around still. Deep wounds, that's fine. Um, yeah, really. But what do you want to do against something like that? The gods are that's with nothing. You. Full recovery, really? Wow, Anton. Fantastic. The gods and now are just. With you. Near death experience, that's perfect. We get a little bit more experience point by that. New well, warriors are available for let's hire. be honest. Your that worked out perfect at the end. We completed side objective, everybody's fine. We got even more experience points. And we are at level 5, so we get finally as well our impressive units. Let's quickly pay the treatment. Very, very happy with the outcome at the end. And let's check on the impressive. The Crypt Ghoul. Um, I will get a little bit more to that. We need a little bit of money, though. Somehow I'm always very short on this. He costs 100. Let's just sell items that I'm not going to use anyhow. Or can't use, even. So, we have sufficient money. Let's... Hire the Crypt Ghoul. Virgilio. Well, Virgilio we had or have already, but that's fine. <clears throat> he looks scary. And uh, naked. Okay, what can we have? We have um, Clothed Pen and Abulets, No Ranged, Axe Hammer, Mace, Spare, Great Axe, Great Hammer. Increase poison, critical resistance because of large, last stand, always fight, unwavering, impressive, death stench immunity. So nothing too fancy over there. That's higher. And let's check him out. S skills. You have terror. Well, that was to be expected, something like that. And customization will follow during the off time. So, let's put this fight to an end. Um, it was very close, very interesting, very challenging at the same time as well, of course. And I'm looking forward now for the next round. Trying out... Actually, I'll take Anton with us. <coughs> um, yeah, our leader and our Crypt Ghoul have the same name. Um... Which will be the campaign mission now, because you we can. Everybody's available. available. We have the impressive unit, which helps out, hopefully, quite a bit. So, stay ready for that one. I hope to see you soon, next round. And until then, take care of yourself, and bye for now.